I mean, sure, then you saw a pregnant lady get killed later, but still, like, that that did not mean anything. There's yeah, a number like, of problems with Requiem that's a whole... We never... We, <laughs> yeah, we don't talk about Requiem. Like, we never saw the freaking hybrid <laughs> of the alien and predator thing. I was like, like, that movie was too, like, dark and lighting to ever see anything. Yeah, yeah. it's it was dark in the wrong ways. Like, um, like I, I own it, but, like, I... I regret that I own it now. It's like I, I'm, like, I'm well, kind of on that. Like I'm kind of on that spectrum because, like, because um, at the time I was how, like excited to see that movie because it was actually gory and everything. Because the, yeah. the first Alien AVP movie was just like it was so stupid and it was it had yeah. the PG thirteen rate and I'm like I'm sorry, what was Aliens and Predator known for? Yeah. Oh yeah, being very graphic and disturbing. Yeah. Well, you got that, but then they just had sloppy writing. It's like. Yeah. yeah, but Alien vs Predator Requiem had 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 some good going for it, but then they ruined it. Yeah. I will. No. Like, I like I the idea. Go ahead. I, I was gonna say like I like the idea that they kind of went off of the previous movie and like started it from the ending of it, where you see the Predator in the ship and like I still... he has like the chest burster yeah. coming out of him, but then you never see anything from that. You don't get to no, see was... the hybrid or anything. Fucking Requiem sucked ass. I still remember seeing Alien vs. Predator in theaters, and, and some other people in the theater walked out because they didn't like how bad it got with the gore and shit. <laughs> and yeah. I was like, what were you expecting? What? It's a PG-13 version of Alien vs. Predator. Like, <sighs> it's a miracle. It's what? as tame as it is. This is just another one of those examples of Paul Worthless Shit Anderson getting his hands on another property. That was okay. well, actually, no, well, Alien vs. Predator, honestly, I kind of liked. The the female protagonist was interesting. I liked her fight yeah. at the end. Yeah. I, I mean, Predator. I didn't hate... I didn't hate AVP. I thought it was pretty... Like, it wasn't perfect. Oh, absolutely. Like, I, even I have a soft spot for it, because I remember my brother and I yeah. were anticipating to see it for his, uh, his birthday, because literally, the movie came out on his birthday. Oh, <laughs> I, nice. I think the only other reason I didn't like it is that the ending confused me so much. I was like, um, she just blew up the entire city. That's a yeah, good that, reason. But, that one, but then there was Requiem in that one hospital scene. Yeah, uh, that hospital uh, scene. The, the scene I was talking about earlier where the pregnant lady gets yeah, like, killed. And like, uh, like they, they showed that, and I was like, okay, they're going to have something with this. No. That was too far even for me. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah I um, think it's, it's just the case where the movie was just relying too much on shock value and just yeah. yeah. And that's the thing that kind of annoys me with horror movies that try to use, like, kids. Because, like, with me, especially now, you know, having nephews and nieces and, you know, another ne nephew at this point... Yeah. I hate it when I see kids getting killed in movies because I feel like if you're going to do it, you got to have to be meaningful or at best have it mean something to the story. I that's like, why that's, when Mother... That's hmm? kind of how I felt with uh, the Hunger Games because it was just like, oh yeah, we're just going to have a sport of watching kids kill each other off. It's like, that's, yeah. that's disgusting. Like... like yeah. It wasn't as bad. It wasn't oh. as graphic for one thing. Yeah, I was gonna mention like the reason I bring this up because there's a movie that did that in a very gratuitous way called Mother Twenty Seven Mother back in 2017, mm -hmm. and it was directed by the guy who did um, Wrecking for a Dream and Black Swan. So when I first Darren? saw this movie and thought and saw that movie and I was like, okay, that guy's definitely gonna give us something interesting, especially since the trailer was very odd but no the entire movie was a pretentious rambling about religion being good and they have a scene with a baby oh no and you already know what happened and it just felt tasteless like it felt terribly tasteless okay so Not a, a better example of when it comes to uh children get involved in like a life-threatening situation it it yeah, yeah it is a good like, example it of that. Works because not only is the pain of what happens to Georgie and any other kid that gets killed by Pennywise, you know, still prevalent throughout, it doesn't feel like shock value. It yeah. is yeah. horrifying. It is uncomfortable. I know that yeah. a lot of people don't say that the original it with um Tim with Curry. um Tim Curry it was terrifying. That oh, thing terrified me and it it traumatizes me to this day still. I oh, will yeah. not. I will scary. not watch that one at all. I found um, it scary as a kid. 
Tim Curry is just terrifying because I realized later on, like when I'm older, that he played, um, that Tim Curry played the Mouse King in Barbies and the Nutcracker. Oh, yeah. And no wonder I didn't like that character when I was growing up because he terrified me. Everyone <laughs> needs a little curry in their life. Well, the thing that made Tim Curry scary in it was that he was like, uh, like, um, he pretty much was able to encompass sort of a campy personality, but he yeah. still was able to be terrifying when you when he wanted to be, you know, yeah. provoking. He's but also, a particular balance. Yeah, yeah. He also but, did that in um. He also did that in Criminal Minds too, when he played um the Prince of Darkness. Oh yeah, I remember. Yeah, he. He played that role way too well, and it terrified me. And I was like in middle school when I saw that. Yeah. Oh, um, where is um, where is um, Bill Skarsgård in um, it 2019? He was terrifying because he didn't have the campiness or the goofiness of Tim Curry. Well, that he was yeah. just huh. Well, that too, and that he like he was able to be naturally creepy, and he had that naturally creepy lazy eye thing that he could do. Yeah. That he showed that he like that whole thing with the eye that it that Pennywise does in the film isn't CGI. That's all Bill Skarsgård. Yeah. Oh yeah. And the the scene and the parts where he's basically contorting his body, or, or like like in the scene with the fridge, that was all Bill Skarsgård. That was uh, not CGI. Uh. I, that's it's I, sort of I, similar to how in June, how in June on the Grudge, the scene where Kayako Sasuke, aka the uh, the Grudge Lady, oh, is crawling God. down the stairs, that was not done with CGI. Yeah, that was the yeah. that was the actual actress <laughs> crawling down the stairs. Holy shit, Riley! Riley can do what the, the hell did you drink? No, Riley was impersonating the uh, the death rattle from the Grudge. Okay, because yeah. like. Damn, dude. <laughs> I, I guess that's also why I haven't really even touched the remake and the sequel of it. Because, oh. like, my my trauma from the first one is just like, nope, I don't want to watch oh, it. Shoka, oh, Shoka, Shoka, sweet. Japanese you... version is worse. It's the scarier. Ja ja oh, I love the Japanese version of Junon. It is, honest to God, one of my favorite horror movies. Here's the thing period. about the Grudge films, the Juon films. As soon as you go into that house, you are fucked. Oh, I'm talking yeah. about I'm, I'm, fucked. I'm talking I know you're it. talking about it, Shuka. Yeah. But, uh, Riley was also referencing, you know, the Grudge because, you know, we I uh, mentioned the, um, the, um, the how the thing. actress would yeah. do the body, the weird movements that she does with her body, that she did in the movie, she can actually do that. She wasn't using, like, special yeah. effects. Yeah. <laughs> But yeah, that's pretty much what always made the Grudge movies terrifying because you enter that house, you're fucked. You you cannot do anything yeah. but just wait until those three ghosts come after you. Yeah. And the creepy part is, is if you remember in the movie, it all happened just because the fucking husband was jealous. He just yeah. snapped, killed his wife and son, and then was killed himself. I mean, he was then killed. I think he killed himself. Um, uh, it's actually different from different. Co it's actually a little bit different in the continuities in the Japanese uh, version. Which, by the way, Riley, the yeah, shit he, he did in the movie to his wife and son is far worse than in the American oh, remake. The, oh, I know. I know. I've seen the. I've I've seen things on the Japanese versions, and they are so much worse than the American version. Even though they got the same guy to direct the American versions, the other Juwan films like yeah. uh, the existential dread. Because that's the thing that's also very terrible. Like, okay, so like in the Japanese ah, one, he's actually got killed. Hmm? Oh shit! Huh? Oh shit! Sorry, nothing. Um, in the Japanese version, he was actually killed by um his wife's ghost. Whereas in the American version, supposedly he hung, he hanged himself. But in the director's cut, you find out that he was actually the first victim to the curse. Mm. Yeah, victim. <laughs> sure. Victim. <laughs> it's also kind of like um, I'm. I know that like a lot of people don't like the newer horror movies and a lot, but like um, I don't know. There's just something about some of some of the newer ones I enjoyed, like um, like Riley and Golden. Remember during the podcast where we were talking about the Grammys Halloween and how like. Yeah. 
about like I was yeah about Halloween um ends. Like I enjoyed that movie, and I know a lot of people didn't, and that's why you were surprised that I picked that one for like one of the ones I enjoyed from this last year. I mean, I'm kind of surprised by that too because everybody I know hated Halloween ends. Yeah, I think for me it's just the fact that it kept like um the it tension. kept me the tension like added to it, and the fact that it was very very gory when it needed to be. But then it got very serious, too. And just the ending, I think, kind of makes me hope that that they're not going to make any more. Because they ended it on a good note. Uh, to be fair, you, you can always wish for a franchise to end. But we all know that's never going to be the case. Yeah. Every franchise is going to find a way to continue regardless of anything. Bring you like, money. I guess that's also why I'm worried about when they're remaking some of the recent horror movies. Like, they're remaking Nightmare on Elm Street. And I'm just like, do not make it like the 2010 one, please. Do not make oh, it like that one. that movie was fucking obnoxious. The only thing that made the, 20, the 2010 movie pretty decent was... Sorry. Was the fact that Jackie Earl played, um... Played, um, Freddy... Well. Like, that's really about well. it, but the rest of it was just, like, it was relying so much on jump scares to the point where I was yeah. annoyed they, as fuck. They even, they even ruined the scene where Freddy was coming through the wall. Mm -hmm. Like, they ruined that scene. That like, the original... so fucking fake. The original... Like, yeah. Like... The original had... Like, the original did things that the remake cannot do because they would just chalk it up to CGI. Yeah. Like you remember the you remember the scene where Nancy was in the um in the tub, and like yeah. the claw and comes through, the and she falls asleep, and then yeah. Freddy's clawed glove comes out. Yeah, in the original movie, he actually drags her under the water. Mm-hmm. And the That's in the not scary. In the remake, they they skipped that completely, and it's like um that was a very interesting part of the movie. Why did you get rid of that? It was an iconic moment. Cause yeah. She, yeah, because. And then her mom comes through the door to see she's okay. They skip that out completely. The whole the whole scene with the preschool made no sense. It was not necessary. It only made it only made it oh worse no! because then they, then they because then they show that Freddie was a was a pedophile. It's like oh great, yeah, That's yeah, probably, yeah. which That's I didn't agree I with most. because the original movie just seemed to make the, the implication that Freddie was just a murderer of children, and that was it. Yeah. Whereas this one, it just felt like they were just trying to be shocking for the sake of shocking. Especially when they tried to pull yeah. the whole, oh, he was innocent, and at the last minute, oh no, he truly was doing this. Like, and yeah. the point of that then. And I also hated, um, I also hated Nancy's mom in the remake because the entire time she is like trying to avoid the subject with her daughter. But in the original, she actually, once her daughter asked her about it, she actually wanted to talk to her about it to, like, let her know what was going on. The, the mom in the remake just did not want to. She was like, no, you're just thinking things. You're not, you're not, you're not being smart. Nope, you're, you're thinking things. Just constantly neglecting and invalidating her feelings. Yeah. Yeah. And and then she's like, why are you lying to me? And then she's like, I'm not lying to you. It's like, no, you are lying to her. Yeah, the fuck Dude, you I'm lying. holding up my fucking shield and I'm still getting attacked. Why? Guess what? Why the fuck you lying? Why are you always lying? Stop <laughs> fucking lying. You know what the best lighting is for your children? Gaslighting. No. <laughs> you know what's one movie that I kind of am surprised that they did remake in America? What's Wolfie! Wolfie! Uh, what was that, Dad? Wolf is was, um, um, well, actually, it, it was, um, the remake of Old Boy. I've never heard of it. Okay, so Old Boy is a South Korean noir film. Wolfhead and I actually saw it together. Um, and basically, it's about a guy who, basically, he ended up being kidnapped by somebody and was locked away for 15 years. And then just when he's about to finally escape after those 15 years, he just let go. And he goes on a quest of revenge to find out who locked him up for 15 years and for what reason. Yeah. 
They remade the uh, movie in 2013. Oh, so, shit. You crashed? Wait, so, Golden, is it every time you go to that door that it decides to crash? After making all that progress, yeah. That is so oh, weird. Why is I, it doing that? Yeah, I, I saved it. I mean, good I, I mean, good idea that you ended up saving before it, but what the fuck? Do you think it's a bug in the in the in the game file or not that I know of? <laughs> but um something I can appreciate recently because my dad got me these movies was like um a couple years ago he got me he got me two classic um horror movies, um Alfred Hitchcock's The Birds and Psycho. I need oh, to I see um I need to see kidding. I need to see the birds. I watched bird, a lot of horror films with my mom. Like the birds <laughs> is downright terrifying because even for an early on horror movie like that they showed a lot of gore early on in that movie and it was like I mean, oh, no well the birds were a lot of the birds in those some scenes were real too yeah, yeah. but what i think what also helped like the thing i do remember about the movie even though i haven't seen it is the fact that they never gave me an explanation why the birds are attacking humans it's just i think it had something to do with like a disease that was going on or something hmm yeah, but even then, that's left very ambiguous to the to the general audience. Yeah, but like even Psycho in general, like it's surprising, and this is this is strange for 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 my family. But like my cousin, she hates horror movies with a passion. She enjoyed Psycho. She enjoyed no, I mean, it. Well, that's mainly because Psycho itself is more of a mystery than a than yeah. It's, it's a more of like horror, the, yeah. it's like a suspense thing too. It's like more <laughs> psychological, and it's like. I mean, then you got, like, of course, Jamie Lee Curtis's mom in that movie gets killed in the shower scene. You you want to know the that sad thing for me? That iconic scene where she, you see the blood go down the drain and it's all... Where it's actually down. Hershey chocolate. <laughs> yeah. Also, Hershey um, chocolate? It was idea. actually Hershey's uh, chocolate, yeah. <laughs> That's the advantage oh, of black and white filmmaking! They yeah. thought that the, the reddish filmmaking. blood that they used didn't show up dark enough on screen, so they used chocolate syrup instead. Also, um, I am going to make a confession. Okay. When it mm -hmm. came to Psycho, I didn't, when I first saw Psycho, it wasn't the very beloved Alfred Hitchcock movie. Oh, no. It, the Vince Vaughn one. You saw the was, Vince Vaughn I, one. It was the Vince Vaughn remake. Boo, oh, no. Why? <laughs> I was very young. I didn't know Why? I literally uh, didn't happened. know. I was a fucking little bean. I was a tiny bean. Oh, but speaking of like the original Psycho, go ahead. Like before, I was before I was born. The the uh, the last horror film my mom would watch had watched was like Psycho in the theaters. So. Oh wow! <laughs> I I wish I could have gone when they there were like movie theaters near, near me that had re released certain movies like Jaws. And I was like, do I dare want to go see Jaws in theater? But then I was like, no, I own them. I don't need to go to the theater to see these. But you, it would be fun to at least, you know, experience it in the theater. It's yeah. sort of similar to how people get with saying, I want to see the room in the theater just to see the reactions. <laughs> I think I remember my, my former friend Leia did that. She actually did, she went to a midnight screening of The Room... Oh, I'd love to go and, to that. that yeah, like she fun. not only not she, not only did she do that, but she took a photo with Tommy Wiseau. Huh? Wiseau. If Wiseau, we ever did, Wiseau, Wiseau. yeah. If, if we had a, if we ever decide to do like a movie night with all of us, like I say, let's watch one of those weird horror sci-fi movies, like Anaconda or something, and see how badly it did not like. Oh, age Anaconda <laughs> aged like garbage. And like, the combo oh. was dumb, but I, I, I can at I, I least kind of give it a pass for how dumb it is. Yeah. No, if you, if you want to see... And, if the, and the fact that Ice Cube's in it, too, makes it not <laughs> better at you, all. If you want a really dumb movie, Anaconda, The Hunt for the Blood Orchard is that. Yeah. The original Anaconda was, was cool. I love I'm John using the Biden, shield! But... Why am I still getting attacked? <laughs> I remember we're showing Your watching Anaconda not big with enough. And That's bullshit. And... Oh, weren't I mean, you there when we watched it one morning? After like Will and Katie's wedding, what movie? Anaconda. Yeah, no, it was it was like okay. As much as I would say how stupid it is, it's enjoyably stupid. Oh yeah. <laughs> like, 
Yeah, and like yeah, like they have Ice T in there. They have um. John Voight. John Voight, yeah. You call them Ice T? It's Ice Cube. Oh, my bad. Is it Ice Cube <laughs> or is it Ice T? Because both those are actually. Are you cube. serious? I have to do two more of these assholes. Fuck. Yeah, but um, fine. Get, get in there, fight them. The I think also like I, I think also I want to try and find Lake Placid and watch Lake Placid. Oh, I love Lake Placid. I heard that Betty White's in it, and I heard she cusses during it, and it's funny. Oh, she's amazing in is it. That I the love movie, her. Is that the movie where they have that like vicious crocodile? The, the yep. giant, the giant yeah, prehistoric crocodile. crocodile yep. That only be got there because Betty White decided to feed it fucking cows and shit. Yeah. Mm, I love Betty White. I like okay. I remember when I was a kid, like I didn't see the movie, but I did see the um the DVD. Whoa, what the hell? Oh, another good series, Tremors. The fucking Tremors I, series. I love amazing. Tremors. I own I own all the Tremors movies. That's how much I love the Tremors movies. And I have the thirteen episode um TV series that they had. I feel like I was withheld some need to know in information. <laughs> I Fucking love Burke Gummer. Burke, Burke, Burke Gummer is, is hilarious. An can we also just can we also just say like when um when Bloodlines came out, like that thing was that thing was funny because of Jamie Kennedy being in it. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. There was a t Tremors TV series. It only lasted like ten episodes. Oh shit! Uh, only it only lasted. Uh, uh, Riley, it only lasted thirteen episodes. Thirteen. Okay, I was wrong. Yeah. I mean, the TV series was interesting. It was in between. It was in between. Um, technically, the third movie, fourth movie, and Bloodlines. Like it was in between those movies. How? God, I... I am pulling out the shield. Why is he still getting killed? Go but on, like, I remember you're like liking this part of the game too much because you have to kill both of them in a set amount of time. Um, Something what was that, Riley? Really? No, um, I, I, I kind of like Back to Perfection. Not gonna lie. Even I, the I game didn't. Of... I didn't like Back to Perfection because it was like, I, I don't know. It, it none of the story made any sense to me. It's mm. like, it's like okay. So apparently the Graboids were there even back then, but then they were surprised to see them in the first movie. No, Back to Perfection was when the in the third film when they had the the ass blasters. Oh, oh you're talking about that? I thought you were talking about the, the legend flying ones. ones. The flying I you were ones. Okay, I thought you were talking about the fourth movie. Like the fourth movie was just complete garbage. No, the fourth movie was interesting, but no. But no, I'm talking about the third film. Okay, yeah, I like Back to Perfection. That one was fun. Um, especially the ass bosters. The ass bosters were just so weird. <laughs> um, I like in Bloodlines how that one line was like, um, they were saying that the, the grab boys were bigger, and, and Bert's like, um, like, he was like, excuse me? And then he's, and then the guy was like, it's Africa, Do everything something. bigger here. Oh, yeah. I still need to catch up on the other Tremor series. Oh, maybe for Halloween I should marathon through the chair. The Tremor series. Oh, my series gosh. If I, if I could ever screen share, if I could ever figure out how to screen share Apple TV, we should, like, totally do, like, a, a movie night with it. I still, mm. chat, I still have to show Riley of uh, Pineapple oh Express and all the John Wick movies. Yes, but, um. Riley, the one that you're gonna not, I think, like at all is Shrieker Island. You're not gonna like that movie. Yeah, probably. It, it's not their best work. Um, I mean, sure, they did a good send-off for Bert, but, like, it's not that good. Like, oh, Jamie... Oh, the series? Damn. Yeah, Jamie Kennedy is not in it at all. He did not return. Um, it's just an unnecessary, like, movie. We didn't need it. Well, if you're not gonna get Bird, if you're not gonna get Kevin Bacon, if you're not gonna get the other no, guy, Bert, what's no, Bert's the point? In the, no, Bert's in the Shrieker Island. That's his last movie. Yeah. But, but like I mean, other, the series overall, I mean. Yeah, I mean, other than that, though, like they, it's not a good movie. Um, they relied too much on CGI, like they did in Bloodlines and mm -hmm. in um in a Cold Day in Hell. Like they relied relied too much on that, and it's like oh, yeah. they All gave right. the. You know what? I've, I've been streaming this for a good three hours. This is going to take a while for me to get through this game. A lot yeah. more than I expected. Uh, yeah. That's okay. And you got to figure out why it's glitching in that one door. Well, I was able to get through that. Oh. But, um, 
I will say, I am going to take my time with this one, even if it takes me over a year, because I've already got, like, several other highlight reels to work with. Mm. Yeah. 